Colin, why are you here three days before your next appointment? Cynthia. Cynthia? Cynthia. What about Cynthia? Cynthia. Okay. You can't just turn up early for your appointment, muttering your girlfriend's name over and over again and staring at the wall. It's, it's finished. You finished your novel? No. It's a shame. Do you know why they... No. Yes. The novel is coming along well. That's not what I'm talking about. Okay, Colin. We need to talk about this calmly. Logic. No. You don't understand. Cynthia's cheating on me. Cheating on you. Cheating on you with... With Ryan? Yes. What? How, how did you know? Colin, we've had this exact conversation before. What you're experiencing is extreme paranoia. These visions are brought on by thoughts of what you think people are doing around you. What I think I would like you to do is when you get these visions, is to close your eyes, count to a hundred, and wait for them to pass. No, it's, it's real. Have you tried talking to Cynthia about this? Okay. I think I have an idea for our next session. Cynthia, thank you for coming along today. How do you feel your, your progress has been? Well, I can't explain it. There's nothing to explain. I've just been busy working on my writing. That's all you're ever interested in. Never worried about anything except your novel. You're going to hurt the people who care about you if you keep acting like this. Beginning to see where the issue is. Oh, I know exactly where the issue is here. You think I've left you for Ryan. Is that it? Why are you so suspicious of everything? There's nothing going on between us. We just work closely together. Well, what is it, Colin? I need to talk to you about something. I think Cynthia is right. I think you need to start listening to people. Cynthia's definitely sleeping with Ryan. Colin, she's not. And they want to kill me. <clears throat> so Colin, have you had any progress since our last session? We also need to discuss the uh, payment for the last few. I've seen something I shouldn't have. I, I witnessed... Colin, there's nothing to worry about. We've been through this before. Your paranoia is causing these hallucinations. I saw someone get shot. Did the counting help? No. This was real. If this was real, you would have gone to the police. No one would have believed me if I did. They would have if it was real. You've convinced yourself that no one will believe you. You don't even believe you. Cynthia's not cheating on you. You did not witness a murder and nobody is trying to kill you. We haven't made any progress. It was real. Hey, Carl, everything all right? All right. Thanks for coming over. Oh, yeah, anything for Carl. What? What? what a... I thought we could use this session to help you work through some of these issues you're having. What seems to be the problem, Carl? I, 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 I saw someone get shot. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. What? Why don't you go to the police? Oh, just another wild hallucination. One of many, it seems. So you told the doc that... Thought Cynthia and I are having an affair? <laughs> and uh, apparently they're trying to kill you. Yeah. So he knows everything. <laughs> he knew too much. He, 
He killed him. Why? Can't really say anything to that behind my back, Carl. What are you doing? See, I like Cynthia and well, she likes me and... But you're a complication. I mean, just thought things out. It's nice knowing you, Carl. Thank <laughs> you.